Molly, come here. Come here, Mole. Molly, come here. Good girl, sit down. Sit down, sit down. That's what I'm doing there. It's very jumpy because you're in zoomed right in. See your maximum zoom, see? Mm. As you go that way, and you go out, see? And you can go slowly, zoom out slowly or fast. And you can have effects too. So let's have some effects. So we can have this colour, which is like a film from the 1920s. Come on. Oh, indeed, you can have black and white. <laughs> Sepia. It's probably quite attractive in some circumstances, I should think. Not when you're jogging it about like that though. So I need a Yeah, come here. Come here, Billy. And of course, you can also video yourself, which is great. Isn't it? You can go and meet people. Hello, meet Hello, people. Meet people. You can meet people, and that's exactly what you're shooting. <laughs> Do you like your video diaries? <laughs> Here we are, out at the old crew pitch. We're a bit sad, aren't we? And there's our car there, get the car in the background. Come on, Molly. See, in good, isn't it? So the, the picture automatically switches round as well. See, as it goes over the top, it switches up the other way at that point. Okay. <laughs> well, there we are then. Hello again, it may also be worth noticing. Oh, it sounds like a moan, I don't, I don't think it is, it's not meant to be a moan. But the porous pipe that's been installed and comes out into the road, you can clearly see that no water has come out of that, out of that hole at all. Because uh, you know, water tends to, uh, to um, you know, leave evidence that it's run there, like a path will be cut. So there's plenty of water in this ditch which comes out of that pipe there which may well come round from the other road I'm not sure. You know in case you don't know where we are there's the elm tree ground so we're in the road. Zoom out we're in the road. So there's the pipe that feeds a lot of water. The water is running there and running through and under the under the bridge and, and onward, yeah. 
So I'll find if we can get the water from our pond out to the road, then it will run away. But that, as you can see, there's no evidence that water has come out of there at all, ever, since it's been installed. And I'm not sure that it actually has. Well, I'm sure it hasn't, because you, you know, water leaves a path where it's been, you know, you can clearly see where water has been, and there's been no water there. And I could uh, erect something to see, if you like, but I think I, I think you'll agree no water has come out of there since the hole's been in. And this, by the way, is the final problem. The water, when, the, when it's raining hard, the water collects in the road, it runs around from the elm tree, it comes along this, you know, there's no gutter here, it comes along here, runs along here, and actually runs into the ground. So when it's raining hard, from both sides of the road here, you have a small river flowing along the road and into the ground, which, you know, which is the opposite to what we actually need, obviously. Same happens from that side. The water actually runs along the road and down the side there and into the field. Now, as you know, I've been uh, doing lots of work on, on my own uh, and one of the things I did do at one time was to cut this little ditch here so that the water runs down there and into the ditch at the side there. Which again you can see has not been cleared by the guys that you sent. And uh, really needs to be done I think. So that water that goes through the gate, and there's some evidence you, know, you can see clearly of water runs through there. That used to be a, a quite a deep ditch and I'll dig that out again. Maybe it should be along the, along the uh, boundary line here because the water, as I say, runs down from the road into the field. And uh, we've just had some work done out here by the uh, water board and of course that's actually blocked up the drainage ditch there. It's, a, uh, it's their ditch, they must know what they're doing.